Class 4 is woke. Naughty Dog's new IP is woke. Astrobot winning Game of the Year is woke. Me taking a shit is woke, right, right? Me taking my shoes on is woke. What the fuck does woke mean? Stop pretending to care about things and just admit that you're trolling or say what you are with your chest out. Be proud of who you are. I've been hesitating to make this video for quite a long time for many, many reasons. One, we are a small channel, so nobody would actually give a shit about what we have to say. Two, just like with the extreme leftists, I think the best way to deal with these type of crowds are to ignore them. Remember back when, like four years ago, every fucking game was transphobic, every fucking game was racist, sexist, blah, 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 blah. Well, now every game is fucking woke. They're the same people, just on different sides of the same coins. The same fucking people we're dealing with. Three, I know most people in that crowd are just saying this shit because they think it's funny. Because at this point, it has become a meme to just call anything woke. And at the end of the day, it's all really super hard to take seriously. Uh, considering the fact that we are a super small channel and I don't want to make our channel based off of controversy. Especially considering it's going to go one way or the other. Either we just blow up off of it or we get fucking executed by the fucking dents. So... I decided to stop caring about the topic. The last time I even talked about anything close to this was the Assassin's Creed video I made about Yasuke being the main character and how you guys are overreacting and you actually don't care. A lot of you don't care about the fact that it's woke or whatever bullshit and the reasoning that Yasuke's in it is because of woke politic. No, that's not what you care about. You just don't want to play with a black person. That's all it is. You want to play with someone that you could relate to. But as I've been ignoring this topic as far as making videos about it, it just keeps popping up. There's been comments on videos completely unrelated to woke politics. I've had comments on Dynasty Warriors videos that has nothing to do with wokeism. And people were talking about the Japanese race being extinct. And they were saying a lot of worse things. I just had to get rid of them because they, it just was a dumb conversation to have in my comments. And then there's obviously Twitter. Twitter is just a cesspool of retardation. And so many other examples just throughout gaming conversations that's just about wokeism. And I just got tired of it. And even though I kept separating myself from it, I think the straw that broke the camel's back was the Game Awards show. That comment section and the reaction after on Twitter was just something to be witnessed and what it really boils down to is two games in particular like you guys were joking with saying everything was woke but what continued on to twitter the day after or whatever the case may be was two ips the witcher and intergalactic the new series by naughty dog that they're creating and those two games y'all hard focused on the appearance of the main characters siri from the witcher she's been a part of the fucking series she's been pushed as the new main character that's coming out apparently even in the books now i'm not the biggest witcher fan i haven't played it to really comment on it seriously from my own perspective but after researching it to make this video and then the arguments on twitter uh yeah she has been pushed as this main character for a very very long time she has been involved in the books as a very important character and from what I can tell, the only thing that has any type of legit argument as to why she shouldn't be a witcher is because of the lore. But that could easily be explained in the new game. You just gotta wait and see. But you don't want to wait and see if it's bullshit or not because you've already made your mind up because of the crowd that you are putting yourself a part of. You don't care about nuance. You don't care about explanation. You don't care about character writing. You don't care about any of that. She's a woman. She looks ugly to you. So you throw all logic out the window and then you start doing this bullshit. And honestly, it's childish. It's very, very childish. It's dumb as fuck. It makes zero sense, logically speaking. So why are we supposed to be taking this conversation seriously? And this is why I say you guys just need to be ignored because you're going to move to something else. Honestly, once all the YouTubers that you guys be listening to, all the fucking social media people who have a following, once they feel like this whole 
bullshit thing that they're doing is no longer profitable, they're going to move on to something else. That's what people like this always tend to do anyways. They're going to end up doing it. It's going to happen. And then you guys are not going to have anybody to really look on or latch on to, and then you're going to fucking stop bullshitting, and you're going to go back to being normal gamers, if you ever were. Now we got this bald-headed chick, <laughs> and you're mad. She doesn't have luscious hair and shit, and you automatically have it in your head that she's gay, so you write this off as DEI woke bullshit, when in reality there's plenty of straight bald women in the real world. I mean, hell, <laughs> there's been embarrassing things done by men in the name of bald women, okay? We've seen it time and time again. Now, with that being said, I don't know where we're getting this whole DEI shit in. I don't know what we're getting where she is uh, gay or lesbian automatically. Like, there's, again, been straight bald women in video games. Like, I mentioned in real life, we got video games too. Video game examples. Real gamers, most real gamers anyway, or most gamers in general, have played Mass Effect. And we're going to act like Jack doesn't exist? She's straight. I don't even think she can be gay. I don't think she can even get with women. I think she automatically only goes for male shepherds. So, like, this whole idea that she's automatically gay because of what? I don't know what you're getting that from. Is it because of her voice actor being gay? Is that what you're going off of? We have no idea who this character is when it comes to her writing or personality. We only know that <laughs> she put a sucker in her mouth, bro. That's it. She's confident in herself. Is that the issue? Again, older games, Mass Effect. We're talking about the, the typical thing that you guys get mad at. Girl bosses or whatever the case may be. Hate all men type of characters. Y'all love Mass Effect. Jack did not like men like that. So I'm really confused on why Mass Effect was okay. You're not bringing that up as a bad example. But you're automatically assuming the worst with her. Even though, even if she was gay, what the fuck? Why is that even a problem? It's only an issue if they're pushing agendas forward and they're trying to put up politics and they're trying to make you feel some type of way. I get that if that was the actual case. And there's been games that's tried to do that. But we don't know what this game is. You're assuming and you're writing off the game, which could be fucking amazing. But yeah, man, you really think this woman is dead ass gay off of a lack of hair. This is such a lazy thought process. Have you never messed with a ball, bitch? You never put the plunger to the back of the head to simulate pulling hair and back shots, bruh? Come on, man. What are we really doing here? End of the day, this bald chick being bald is not a political statement. Siri being the main character is not a political statement. Okay, this is just story writing. This is just character making. This is just normal shit that we see in any other fucking game. It's like... The only times we don't hear y'all complain is if we get one of those stereotypical white male characters. And I hate to sound like one of those basic people that you see on Twitter, but that's what his dead ass become. Like, if it's not one of these niggas, then it's a problem. And we've seen these niggas a million times, bruh. Let us get the bald black bitch, bruh. If she's even black, she doesn't even look black to me. Let us get Siri. Let us get, I know there's a lot of fe fucking Ghost of Yotai is a female character. I know there's a lot of females out. I know there's a lot of women characters. It's okay, bruh. This two in time will pass. It's a trend right now. It's not going to last forever. You're going to get male characters. It's going to happen. Stop fucking crying. GTA 6, female character, I get it. We don't know if she's even the only character, but y'all are panicking so hard that y'all think there's not going to be a male character. We don't know yet. Even if it is this female character, it's the first female character in the fucking series that you give, you play as. So what's the problem? What's the fucking problem, man? Now, there's a real question. What's the problem? You've been playing as males forever. Or really, you have. Like I said earlier, y'all been choosing female characters. I know you have. So what's the point in this video, man? I don't know. I lost the plot like halfway through. I just got fed up and decided to rant on this because ultimately you people crying about this shit don't even care. I think you niggas are like in industry plants or something. You just are here to keep the divide going, to keep the conversation going inauthentically. Okay, that's what I genuinely think. You're like way too extreme. You have way too much of a lack of nuance for any of this to be real. I put you all on the same bracket as the extreme left, as I said earlier. You people are fake accounts to simulate a fake conversation so people can make content and profit off of it i genuinely do believe that at least some of you are like that 
It's either that or you actually are this fucking stupid to where you genuinely believe everything is woke. But that can't be true because y'all still buy these games. Because again, most of these games don't fail. Y'all were claiming Baldur's Gate 3 was woke. Game of the year. Y'all hated the fact that God of War 2 had that black chick or whatever, the black character. Um, and like the fact that that existed in the setting. Y'all hated that. And that game was very, very popular and wildly successful. So y'all actually still buy these games. Y'all don't actually give a fuck. I think y'all just like trolling or y'all like talking shit. And you don't really suffer any consequences for speaking negatively about things because of social media. But if I actually have to say that there's a point to this video, I would say that you guys need to start sticking to your guns. Stop buying these games. Every game that's on this woke list right here, don't buy it. All 800 of the woke games that they say don't buy any of these games. Put your money where your fucking mouth is. Be a motherfucking man. Stand 10 toes down on your stance for fucking once. Don't buy these games. Don't be a part of these communities. Stop fucking worrying. Like, ignore it. Completely act like it doesn't exist. And, right, you speak with your wallet. Your wallet's powerful. You actually mean something, right? That's what you claim. So actually stick to it. Don't do it. And let's see what happens with these games. I think that's the point of my video. Be what you say you are. Because in my honest opinion, I think you guys are actually the big three of what all the leftists claim you to be. Because at this point, you guys are getting ridiculous. You might just be racist. You might just be sexist. You might just be fucking homophobic. I don't fucking know. Because you guys find any excuse to cry about this shit. Cry baby bitch ass niggas, bro. Man, I could just keep going on and on. And like I said, we all, we started this. We started this with Yasuke. Yasuke is not a real samurai, so he shouldn't be a samurai in a fucking fantasy video game. Y'all say some shit like that, but then you turn around and then you'll say that games should be an escape for realism. And so why should we be looking at these realistic ass chicks? Why can't we get a super beautiful ass chick? Y'all, these are the same motherfuckers. stuff. Y'all so inconsistent with your bullshit, bro. This shit is crazy. Now, I just don't know why y'all try to force yourselves to be a part of these communities either because you don't have to. There's no real punishment for being a clown anymore. There's no real punishment for being racist. There's no real punishment, at least social media wise. Cancel is not a thing anymore. I don't know if you guys believe that. If you just ignore it, it, it you'll be fine. We literally have a, a pedophile, a literal pedophile who still make a content and who's bigger than I could ever be. This channel will probably never reach the heights of said pedophile. And y'all, a lot of you people worship this nigga too, by the way. The same people complaining about this, y'all are y'all are following this nigga still. But so you can be a fucking pedophile. So pedophile to me is worse than racist and homophobic and all that. So like, if you could get away with being a pedophile, you can get away with being these things, bro. Just just be what you want to be, bro. Just say what you want to say. Call call Yasuke the hard R, bro. You already got the George Floyd memes, even though he has nothing to do with the scenario. Be racist. Say that you hate gay people. It's fine. Nobody's really going to hurt you. Say that you don't want to be a woman. Women shouldn't be strong in no fucking reality. It doesn't matter. Fake or not. A woman should not be strong. Clementine shouldn't exist. Samus shouldn't exist. All Tomb Raider shouldn't exist. None of these bitches should exist. This bald bitch shouldn't exist. Siri being a witcher shouldn't exist. Fuck an explanation. Fuck writing. Fuck lore. Fuck any of that. It shouldn't exist. It only needs to be men. Specifically, men that look like you. <coughs> and it's not just the pedophile that's making content. We got a bunch of YouTubers, again, that y'all follow. And y'all are making rich. Who share these fucking thoughts. And they don't bring any nuance or conversation. Like, it, it's literally just brain dead talking. Y'all don't have to be smart. Y'all don't have to pretend. Y'all don't have to give excuses or reasons to your bullshit. Just be what you are, man. So, that's the point of my video. All right, I could go on and on and on, but this rant has lasted way longer than what I thought it was going to be. So if I didn't make my point clear, then take this from the video. Stop being a bitch and just probably be the piece of shit that you are.